Ooh, the beard is looking better. A little bit of a trim rather than having the full neck beard. Yeah, that uh, that looks a lot better. Now, I thought it was about time that I made another cat update video. For for those of you who don't know, about three months ago, my cat got run over by a car, shattered his pelvis, destroyed his hind legs. We got a bill from the vet. It was estimated to be over ten thousand dollars. That uh, that. That was something. Uh, now uh, we managed to raise about uh, two thousand uh, dollars from from the generous people of YouTube. I still have a thank you video that I don't think I will ever be able to finish because every time I try to edit that video, it just doesn't seem genuine. I can't really show how much I appreciate everyone who helped me in that uh, situation and that dire time. Now uh, my cat is doing a lot better. Now, for the last three days, we have done something that is, uh, uh, I think it's a little bit risky, but it, it is time. Uh, we have started letting our cat go outside, alone. And it has gone very well. He started using the cat door, and he has a cat doorbell for the other door. So, yeah, he's a way to go in and out whenever he pleases, and uh, we let him in and out from the front door. Right, but he, he has just, uh, he's not fully recovered that he hasn't, no, he still walks with a little bit of a limp, so I am a bit worried that he is going to be looked upon like prey whenever he's outside by other cats and potential pre and predators, but it is going fine right now and he is extremely happy to be able to be outside again, especially now since it's nice weather. I mean, he tried to go outside this morning, but it was pouring, so he came back inside immediately and tried that other door, because he's a stupid little bastard, doesn't understand that if it's raining on one side of the house, it is also raining on the other side of the house. Uh, but yeah, yeah it's uh, definitely going better. Uh, he's playing around, he's become a lot more playful. Now, since he's been inside for... Well, not necessarily three months. We have taken him outside for walks for the past month, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't have a good grasp about time right now, since I'm on parental leave and all I do is play with my daughter all day. <laughs> but that's the life. Uh, wish that I could do this full time, but sadly, the economy and money and all that kind of bullshit. Right, but uh, anyhow, the cat is doing better. A lot better. And thanks to everyone who uh, donated and showed me sh support through that time. Now, when it comes to my upload schedule, it's going to be, as I've stated many times before, it's going to be really hard to maintain a daily upload uh, for videos. That is just not going to happen. I have the full responsibility of my daughter now. I mean, of course, as soon as my wife gets home from work, she uh, she uh, helps a lot, a lot, a lot. But yeah, I mean, I only have time to make videos right now because, well, I start every video with I just got my daughter to sleep like I did uh, approximately five minutes ago, so yeah, I'm just uh, think that I will have a little bit time to play. Maybe I will even be able to play with my wife. But since, uh, since I mean, right now it is Sunday, so we are currently cleaning the house a little bit, cleaning baby bottles and such. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, always a decision of whether we should clean the house or play video games when our daughter is asleep, right, oh, and speaking of sleep, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, we, we have a rather big bed, I think it's like king size, actually, let, let me look that up real quick, yeah, according to ChatGPT, we have a king size mattress, which is 76 times 80 inches, now that's a rather big bed, however, like, I take up a good portion of the bed, actually, maybe I can show a little bit of a picture, well, let's see if I can get some visuals over here. All right, okay, so let me attempt this. If this is our bed, there's a little bit of a pillow. There's another bit of a pillow. I mean, this is rather big. Uh, what did I say? Like 80? I can't draw numbers. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is hard. Like 80 inches, uh, uh, like about 193 centimeters. That says centimeters. Right, so I take up this part of the bed. Rather big fellow. I reach all the way to the bottom. Yes. Yes, and my wife, let's see, a little bit like a show. A little bit like a show. Actually, a little bit like a show. A little bit like a show. And she's uh, right there. I mean, she's not as big, so she says there. Now, usually our cat sleeps right about there. Now, 
A couple of days ago, my daughter wake, woke up at 3 in the morning. Not really sure why, she just stood on top of her... Uh, stood right up in her crib. Let's see, can I erase? So the crib is right at the bottom of her bed. Yeah, my daughter woke up, was just standing here, looking at me, menac menacingly. Uh, so I picked her up, changed her, gave her some food, put her down again, but she just refused to sleep. So two hours later, I mean, I'm tired as can be, but eventually I just had to pick her up and place her right in the middle of the bed. Now, even with a king-size bed, eventually my wife uh, felt the distress of being kicked and slept by our daughter. So eventually she just moved her position like that's her head, that's the one thing, that's the other thing. And yeah, she was basically forced to sleep right there. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Either we need a bigger bed or we need uh, uh, we need something. I mean, four people in that... Uh, well, four people, what am I saying? Well, our entire family in one bed, that's, uh, that's going to be an issue. Now, she has her own room. I'm talking about my daughter. But, I mean, uh, she, we're going to wait a little bit until we place her there. Because it's very handy to just uh, have her the crib in our room. Uh, because if she wakes up in the middle of the night, we don't have to rely on baby calls and such. We just wake up and then we do the things. Uh, right, where was I? I needed to move the car because the neighbors needed me to move the car. Uh, drawing? I can't draw. Right, okay, let's uh, let's get rid of this thing. Like a show. There we go. Oh, and speaking of cars, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm gonna even include this in the video, but uh, yeah, I had to sell my, uh, had to sell my convertible. Now, originally, I was planning to sell it to get the money to pay for the surgery for my cat our cat, uh, but I didn't have to because we got the uh, donations and everything, so that was good, but again, it's a convertible, a two-seater, and that doesn't really work, considering that we are a family now. Uh, you, you need space for the stroller, so I got myself a minivan. Uh, yes, sold the car and, uh, uh, I mean, it's a, a 2007 Volkswagen Turan, or Toran. Uh, it, 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 it works, it gets me from A to B with the baby. Well, that's enough rambling. I mean, I'm not trying to be a vlogging channel, but uh, the people who donated and showed me so much support during the time of distress with my cat uh, deserves to know that the cat is doing fine, totally fine, and is going to get better, a lot better. Now, my other neighbor also had a similar situation with uh, her cat, so he also has, uh, that cat also has a plate installed, basically, and uh, she made a good point in saying that in the winter, that plate gets cold, so we need to be a little bit careful with that. But I guess we will see. Uh, we need to contact a uh, veterinary soon enough to find out about uh, next x-rays and what, what more needs to be done. But at least it's looking a lot better now. So again, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time.